Say it again about the falling off the cliff part, about when you wake up. When I woke up, um, I start, my first thought was I was stepping off a cliff. And it just, <clears throat> because although I have things in my life that I love doing, quilting, stuff like that, everything, part of, a huge part of my life for 15 years has been my daughter and doing things with her and getting her Christmas presents, putting, you know, getting stuff out for her to do her village. And it just feels like I'm stepping off a cliff and falling and I have to climb back out every every time something about her that I would be doing with her, her birthday went by. I wasn't able to see her. I haven't seen her since March 23rd. And that's, that's what, you know, it, it's it's total uh, free-falling feeling and climbing out. And I don't see an ending to it. I don't, I don't see how to get there. I don't feel capable of being a lawyer, of learning, you know, and I, I spend as much time every day studying law to help get my daughter back, but with this judge, Gary, there's no possibility of going before him and having a legal, healthy outcome. So then I have to go to appeals court and every step along the way, whether it's a fee waiver or filing in the appeals, I've been blocked. And this court system just has no consciousness of how they're affecting all our lives, our children's lives. What about Halloween? And Halloween, it What would you normally do? Take, I've always taken Megan out trick-or-treating. We would get her costume ready. Um, she likes to get ready at least two weeks before. She'll have a special costume picked out. A lot of times I'd make it for her. We always invited her daddy to go with us. A lot of times he wouldn't. But we always went and it was so depressing to, to not have Maggie in my life. And Christmas coming up, Thanksgiving, what about Thanksgiving? went by. What would you normally do on Thanksgiving? Miggy and I love cooking big Thanksgiving dinners, and um, she's a great cook. <laughs> she uh, is amazing how she gets in there and does everything, preparing a turkey, the whole meal, and I'm so proud of her. And so this is the first Thanksgiving that she has not been with me. So, and then Christmas, and, and I just have this impending doom feeling because I have no help. I have to do it myself. I have to become a lawyer and fight these lawyers with 40 years experience and a judge that is in so many ways in it, incompetent, not following the law, either doesn't know the law or worse, knows the law and is purposefully separating children and parents.